The person who did not come up to get the paper, right? We'd like to start with that person. And you're going to write on your partner's back. <laughs> I haven't even told you yet what's going on. <laughs> okay, you're going to write something encouraging. No private information, please, if you know the person. Because <laughs> eventually you're going to have pretty much everybody in the room right on your back. So I'm. Um, don't write big, no. But make sure that it's legible so that they can read it. And I want you to ask the Lord for a word of encouragement. So you can put a word, you can put a phrase, or a sentence. But please, no more than a sentence. Okay? We have it? All right, so I'm going to get you to line up from... Line up on the aisle, in the front row, please. Man! <laughs> it must be farther down. Okay, just wait two seconds. Keep your eyes closed, please. And please don't be talking behind, because we don't want them to really know who you are. I know it's really tempting. Please, in the front row. <laughs> Close your eyes, please, in the front row. I shouldn't be able to look at you in the eyes. <laughs> that means your lids close together. <laughs> Work is, you're going to write an encouraging word to the person in front of you, directly in front of you. Then when I say go, you're going to move one to the right. And the person at the end, out by the door, is going to come up to the front, and so on, until we rotate through the people. Make sense? Okay. At the end, you're going to have a smashing letter to you that has got beautiful words of encouragement. Positive, encouraging thoughts in rapid succession. Like the Lord was saying, I got your back covered. <laughs> it's true. I, I, I found myself praying for the person behind me so that they would definitely hear from God because I want to hear from him. There's an anointing that happens, and it's not something you've, you're used to experiencing, but when there are many people's spirits reaching out behind you, and there, there's no verbal or visual communication, you can sense them just as strong. Did you notice, though, as it's going along, you sense them greater as it goes? Okay. Yes. What, what I was um, experiencing was it was the touch. And it was the different degrees of warmth than that, and just the softness. It was just, it was wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. It's a time for saying thank you. I don't know if you can put it in words. Try. I was just thinking about, you know, what I'm thankful for, and it just never stopped. It just continued and continued, and it just, yeah, you know. You think you, you're thankful for everything you think you know, but there was a whole lot more that I didn't know. Little, little things that you yeah. normally think about, Yeah, right? yeah, everything. Good, right? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Mr. Married over here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I set myself up. <laughs> uh, the, the most significant thing to me I haven't read them, so I don't know what was being said. I hope it was nice, but was uh, the through the sense of touch. Uh, I got distinct and clear feelings 
uh, about each person that, that uh, rode on my back. And I could feel uh, the care. I could feel the interest. I could feel that uh, they were uh, really thinking of what was being written. And I could tell that it felt kind and felt good. Thank you, Lord. Every single person will have something different to say. Isn't God good? <laughs> 